Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to tutorials from the SolidWorks. So uh, today we will see the how to create the arc in the SolidWorks. So basically, uh, the arc uh, is located here in the sketch environment. You can see here, and uh, if you open the arc sketch, you see here the the menu for the arc is the obtained, the open it, and there is in general three types of the arc in the SolidWorks. The first one is the uh, you can create the arc by the center point, or you can create the arc by the tangent, and you can create the arc by the three points. So we will see all of them step by step. So uh, here uh, we will see start from the creating the arc from the center point. Select the center point arc. Uh, let's uh, select the plane again, sketch, uh, sketch, and uh, go to the arc. Select the center point arc, and uh, you you need to specify the three points in order to create the arc. The first point is the center point, and second point is the the radius point, and the third point is the last point. And uh, uh, let's start to create the arc. So uh, press the mouse. So the center point is specified here, and if you move your the mouse, so the arc will be arc radius will be specified. And be careful also here that the uh, add dimension is activated. It means that it is automatically represents the dimension of the arc. So uh, this is uh, just for information. And specify the second point. So and uh, if you move your the mouse like this or like this, you will start to create the arc. And you can stop to any point to create the arc. For example, if you want to create the arc in the 180 degrees, just uh, press in this point. You see the arc is created with the angle of 180 degree and uh, with the radius of this one. So since the our the dimension is activated here, it uh, represents directly the our the dimensions for the arc. So this is the first point how to create the arc. Just uh, press escape and escape again here to see the other result. So it will become the blue. So it means that you exited from the arc common. So this is the our the arc with the dimensions and so on, and uh, you can uh, play with the dimension of the other arc by right? just the pressing this one. So you can increase or decrease one this one and just escape here. And uh, here the, in the arc we have the three points. There's this first point is the starting point, the center point, and the end point. So let's discuss the, all of them here. If you, for example, the press this point. If you press this point, you see here the coordinate will be the represented x and y coordinate. It means that it is the, the coordinate of the, this point along the x and the y coordinate. So you can change this coordinate by yourself typing the any value. For example, let's uh, the right for the x value is 0. And if you press the enter, you see the x value will be shifted to the 0 position. And the keeping the y value is uh, this one. And uh, you can uh, put here the coordinate, for example, the for the y is the 20 and press enter. So you see here uh, the y coordinate is also the change. And just uh, press OK here to accept these values. And if you press uh, this point, this end point here, the new value is created along the x and y. It means that it is the coordinate of the, this point along the x and y. In this case, it's the minus 120, uh, uh, 209, and uh, this value. So let's keep it like this just to see that it's one and just press OK. Also, you can uh, see the, the coordinate of the center point of the arc just pressing this one. This is the coordinate uh, of the, this center point along the x and y. So it, x is the negative and y is the positive in this case, just press OK here to accept this value. So this is the how to create the arc by the, the by the three points. Also, if you press the arc itself, you see it is the highlighted with the orange. If you press the arc itself, you see the here the uh, first, uh, let's uh, see the parameters. Here you see the parameters of the, the arc and uh, these parameters, which we already discussed, is the x is the center point parameters along the x and y is the, this point is the, this one which we already have seen and this is the the parameters so that is the location of the starting point of the arc along the x and y you see which we change it is a 0 and 20 
And this parameter is the, the, the last point parameters of the, the arg is the, this point, is the, this values. And also there is two more parameters is the, that represents the radius of the arc and it is the angle. And the, here, the, here the, you can change this parameter. For example, let's change the radius of the, the arc here, for example, to the 100. And uh, here, uh, let's uh, change the, this value to the 180. And uh, press here the, 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 this OK button or close dialog box. So in this case, uh, see, the, and uh, just uh, exit from the sketch. And uh, you see here the hour, the parameter is changed. We, and uh, you can uh, see here, you see, it will count 100 and the angle will be the 180 degree. So in order to go to the, this uh, sketch again, just uh, press this sketch five and go here yeah, the, the, to the edit sketch. So in this case, the, this sketch will be activated again like this with the, with the blue line. And if you want to change any parameters again, just uh, press this one. And you will again go to the, the same the, the parameters which you have seen so far. So uh, in addition, also you can the convert the, your the arc here. Uh, let me close this one. And uh, you see, this is the blue line. Also, that means that it is active line. If you want to convert this arc to the reference line, like the uh, in order to do this, just press this one and uh, activate this option for the construction. So your line becomes the construction line, it's the reference line. So just close this one and you see it will become the dashed line. So it will be the uh, converted to the construction line. It's a reference line. So in order to uh, again, the, the convert this dashed line to the uh, main line, just press this one and just uh, disactivate this icon for the construction and just press close the dialog again. So it will become again the, the, the active line. So this is the just first option how to create the arc in the, in the SOLIDWORKS. Also, you can create uh, other type of arcs. Let's see here and uh, go the, the arc again here. Let's for the beginning to see that this uh, option again with the center point and just to specify the center point and uh, drag your the mouse uh, horizontally you can uh, or vertically to specify the second position or with the, some inclination with the angle and so on let's uh, make it vertical and uh, you see the second point is the the constructed and also if you, i disactivate this icon directly here in the option so i will create my uh, uh, here Let's for the, the delete this one and uh, let's start to create the, the again like this one and uh, here I, I disactivate this option the dimension it means that I will create the, my the arc like this you see here press escape escape here you see without the dimension here I created my the arc with the dimension here without any dimension the same way you can control this arc. The points like this the, is the starting point along the X and Y, the center point along the X and Y and so on. And here, the, the end point along the X and Y, the same way you can control. Also, if you press the arc itself like this, you will see here the, all the parameters of the arc, like the radius, the angle, the positions uh, along the X and Y the, the, and so on. In addition, the same way you can convert the, for the construction line, just activating this one and the press OK. And you see it is the converted to the construction line. The whole, this is the first option how to create the arc with the, this one with the center point. In addition, the, with the control point is three. And now we will see the how to create the arc is tangent arc. In this case, the, we need to do the one more the sketch will uh, create the line like this. So uh, for example, the vertical line, horizontal line, and uh, again, vertical line, press escape. So we will create this sketch. Now we will create the arc. 
uh, is the tangent arc. The second option, in order to create the tangent arc, we need such a element. So uh, we will hear the beside the first point and go to the second point and just uh, draw the your arc like this. So to specify the second point. So you see the tangent arc created. Still, it is active here. And in order to deactivate the R command, just press escape again and again escape. So you see the R is created. Now you see without any dimension. So at the same way, you can control the points here. The the, the first point, starting point of R, center point, and the uh, end point. Just uh, you see press here, and you see it is the coordinate along the x and y. You can change it by yourself. The same way, center point and so on, it represents the positions. Also, if you press the arc itself, it represents here the, the parameters. That is the, the, same para, the same parameters, the coordinates along the x and y, and here as well the radius. We can change the, the, the radius of the arc here, also the angle, uh, but uh, we will see the for the uh, next lesson how to the, put the dimensions as well it's at itself for the, the our this case now we will just uh, analyzing the sketch itself the same way you can construct the the, the your the art for the construction by the activating this one and just press ok you see it converted to the constructed line because i activated this option so let's see another option here the tangent if you press the, this option the activation and the draw the arc here. You see it is the, uh, since I activated this one, it is the showing with the radius itself here. In the first option, I uh, did not activate the, the dimensions. That's why there is no any, uh, there is no any dimension here, here the, with the dimension itself. We will see also the uh, we will see in the next uh, lessons how to put the dimensions itself. Now just we are analyzing sketch. So this is the was the second option to create the arc with the tangent. So it is the important to know that it should be the any tangent uh, sketch in order to create a, such kind of arc. So let's see that another options to create the arc is the by the three points. So here you see the illustration. So the first point, second point, and third point, just activate this one. So it's selected. And you can start to create the R, just first point. You see, you can create any point for the second, like this, or any inclination, like horizontal. So it depends on you. So the second point, and if you the move, uh, the arc will be created. To specify the third point, you can move the up or down. It depends. So and press your the mouse to specify the your the arc. So the dimension will be directly represented since it is activated. So here, see the arc is created. The same way, there is the three main points to control the arc: the starting point, center point, and the end point. So the if you press the the starting point, the same way you can see the coordinates of the the this point along the x and y. The same way, if you press the center point, that is the coordinates of the center point. If you press the, the end point, this is the coordinates of the, the this uh, end point along the x and y. Press the, this one. And the same way, if you press uh, the arc itself, the same way you will see the, all the parameters, what we have uh, already discussed, the coordinates along the x and y, the positions of the dead points, starting point, the center point, end point of the arc, and itself, which is the radius. Here you see uh, the same, which is represented here, and uh, it is the arc length, that's the angle. The same way here, the option is the, you can convert this arc to the construction, just activating this one and press OK. You see it is converted to the constructed line, it's the reference line, and if you want to convert it, uh, to the, again to the active line, just press this one and uh, disactivate this one. So, and press OK. So it is the converted to the, uh, again, the main line. 
One more important thing is if you press uh, this line, is the second option or the tangent. Uh, what I want to explain again here, you see that there is the relation option. Here, uh, there is the relation, is the tangent relations in the in the this arc. You see the symbol here. We will see the in detail at the, what is the relation. So later in our the next lesson. So anyway, just I want to just uh, highlight here the. This is the, the 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 symbol of the relation of the tangent. It means that this hour the arc is a tangent to the this uh, tangent to the this line. You do do to this vertical line. So here you see the, the the this tangent is the created. Also, if you tangent one, it's the this one. So you see this one and tangent zero is the uh, this one. So if you press the, this one, it will be selected and so on so you can see here the the relation if you for example go here the other option of the the arc here if you press here uh, here the relation is only the radius so you see the radius is the given so relation is the radius if you for example select the arc uh, with the without any relation like the, this one you see there is no any relation because it is not defined. There is no any relation like the geometrical relation or dimensional relation. You will see in detail what is the geometric relations and the ge dimensional relations and so on. It is just was the introduction for the arc, how to create the arc. So you can find the arc here. So in general, there is three options to arc and so on you can directly create the dimensions or without dimension you can convert the arc to the reference line or you can create the active line or you can hear the specify the location of the arc control point starting point center point and the end point along the x and y z the x x and y direction and the control the radius of the arc and the itself the angle of the arc and so on this is a, just a, the detailed information about how to create arc so in the next lesson we will see how to create the ellipse and so on step by step we will finish the, all the sketch techniques in the solid work thank you very much for your the the